Yo, what's up guys? Victor Kamunga here with another Everything Technology video. And today we're gonna to be looking at what's on my MacBook Pro 14 inch. This particular one is the base model and I've had it for probably like eight months now. And I have to say it's probably the best purchase decision I've made in quite a while. And I just pulled it out of this moffed laptop sleeve. I believe it is leather. I don't know if it's genuine leather, but it looks really nice. The really great thing about the sleeve is the fact that it's just not meant to protect your laptop. It can also work as a stand, which is super convenient, especially if you're always on the go and you do a lot of graphic heavy intensive projects and the machine tends to get like really like warm at that point. So if you're looking for something that is super functional and still protects your device, you should check out the MOF sleeve. Now let's go ahead and lock this laptop. And something else that I wanna mention is the keyboard cover. I bought it on Amazon. The first week I got this laptop, I noticed that there were some dust particles getting underneath my keyboard. It wasn't really affecting performance or anything like that, but it was just aggravating me, so I decided to pick that up. And then, if you're someone who's had a MacBook before, you understand how glossy their screen is. So I decided to get a matte finish screen protector since I work outside a lot, and that's been really convenient. I'll have everything that I just mentioned link down in the description in case you wanna pick it up for your MacBook Pro 14 inch. And as I mentioned, this is the base model um, and I use it for mostly creative work. And it's, once again, the best decision I've literally ever made. Now let's go ahead and start off with the dock. And this is where I keep all the stock apps that come with Apple devices, as well as some of the, my favorite applications that I use pretty consistently on this machine. And the first one is Spark Mail. This is my mail client of choice. I started playing around with this probably like three months ago. Um, not, actually not really. I probably started using this like a few years ago, but I didn't really use it. It was kind of like on and off. I've always used Gmail as my mail client and I've been looking for a replacement for Google Inbox that was discontinued a few years ago, unfortunately. And this has been the perfect replacement because it organizes my emails into people, notifications, and pure out newsletters. So if you're someone who gets emails a lot, this does a really good job at conveniently like organizing everything that way you don't get lost. You can also add multiple emails into one account and it does a really good job at separating those emails. That way it doesn't get like super cluttered and stuff like that. And so far, this has been the best mail client I've ever used aside from Google Inbox. If you have any recommendations, please let me know down in the comment section because I'm always looking for something that's a little bit better. And aside from just like all these typical applications that you get with your MacBook, I use a ton of creative software on here. Um, from Adobe, I have Lightroom and Photoshop for photo editing. I typically use Lightroom more, but whenever I need to Photoshop something, you already know what I'm using. And then as far as video editing, I have Adobe Premiere, and I also use Final Cut Pro, which is actually the main video editor I use for like all the videos that you've seen on this YouTube channel. I've been using Final Cut for over five years now, simply because of how easy it is to use. Like adding effects and graphics is as simple as a drag and drop. I'm sure most of y'all are wondering, where do I get my motion graphics from? Well, Motion VFX is that answer. In my opinion, they make some of the cleanest motion graphics for videos. My favorite ones right now are the M2 Tutorial Pack, which is perfect for how-to videos and explainers, and MTuber Pack 3 is great for content creators like myself. I have a few favorites that I use pretty consistently on videos, like the Call to Action, and the new Chapter Bar, which you saw in the beginning of this video. It's pretty easy to use them. All you do is drop it into your timeline and adjust it on the title tab. You have a ton of different motion graphics to choose from that you can customize, and even these really cool 3D social media icons. Installing this pack is as simple as downloading M Installer and pressing a button. If you're looking for a ton of clean graphics for your videos, I'm gonna make sure I link Motion VFX down below, and huge thanks to them for sponsoring this video. Now after that is Todoist. Um, you've probably seen me or heard me talk about this app like a ton of times on the channel, but this is my go-to to-do application. In the past, uh, I used to just have a notebook where I wrote down my to-do list for every single day. And as I got busier and busier, I just couldn't keep up with it. Um, so I found this application. What's great about it is not only can I access it on here, but I can also access it 
on any other device such as my iPhone or even my Google Pixel phone, which is my second daily driver. And literally, um, my favorite feature about this is the fact that it has this projects tab. And in there you can add a project and underneath, underneath it you can have a bunch of to-do lists. Um, and the way I typically use it is for like shot lists. So let's say I have an upcoming real estate shoot. I'll write the name of the client at the very top and underneath I'll have a bunch of bullet points with the exact shots that I need for that particular um, shoot. And it just works really well for that and as a to-do list. So if you're looking for one, check that one out. You guys already know this, but I listen to a ton of music on my laptop and Spotify is my go-to music streaming service simply because it looks super clean and I think out of all the music services that I've tried out, which are Google Play Music. I don't even know if that's a thing anymore. I think that it got replaced with YouTube Music, um, Apple Music, Tidal, and I can't really think of the other one. But out of all those other music streaming services, I think Spotify does the best at recommending music to you. And it just looks cleaner in my opinion. If you have any music recommendations, please drop it down in the comment section. I always ask this in videos because I listen to a ton of music. And aside from that, um, those are probably like the main like applications that I use on this laptop pretty consistently. Some other ones are NordPass. This is my password manager of choice. Um, in the past, I didn't really believe in password managers. I felt like it was like really sketchy having your passwords in one account, like all of your passwords, because what happens if your password manager gets hacked? Like that's literally your whole life being hacked, especially in this new digital age. But so far this has been really reliable. You can store anything from secured passwords to secure credit cards to even secure notes all in one area. And I know some people are a little bit sketched out about this, but trust me, if you are terrible at remembering passwords, I highly recommend finding a password manager. Another useful application that I have on my MacBook is Better Snap Tool. And this allows you to snap windows into place just like you can on Windows. I don't know why this isn't a thing yet on Mac OS, but I really love how Windows does that. And it just makes things a little bit cleaner because on Mac, when you open up a new window, it just kind of just opens up wherever and whatever size that it chooses to. And it's kind of a little, it's kind of annoying after a while, but um, having this on here has helped a ton, especially with my 4K monitor. I can snap literally four tabs in one workspace and it just works really well for that. Pace is also a useful tool that you can download on the Mac App Store. And this allows you to have this like clipboard on the very bottom of your screen. So whenever, let's say you copy something and you command shift V it to paste, um, it'll pop up as a clipboard on the very bottom of your screen. And it just kind of allows you to stay organized with all the things that you've copied over. Um, and so far it's been really useful, especially if you're somebody who's always copying and pasting between different screens. You can have it all in one area organized. Jettison is a recent feature that I found on the Mac App Store, and this allows you to eject stuff when you put your computer on sleep mode or if you shut it down or maybe even when you restart it. If you're somebody, particularly a creative, that uses a lot of external devices, such as a hard drive, SSD, or maybe an SD card, this is very useful because let's say you just got done editing a project, you just closed that Final Cut, you don't have to press eject on every single thing that you have hooked up to your laptop. You can just close the lid of your laptop and it's gonna eject every single thing at once. Hidden Me is a tool for everyone out there who hates having a cluttered desktop. By the press of one button, it can literally just make everything disappear and you can have a really nice clean looking desktop. I use this a ton, especially when I'm doing B-roll on my screen or something like that. Or if I just want it to look clean and I have a bunch of things on my desktop like screenshots and stuff like that, you can literally just press one button and everything is gone. And honestly, that's pretty much it for what's on my MacBook Pro 14 inch. I use a ton of the same applications that you've seen on the past what's on my map videos that I've done on the channel. If you have any recommendations on applications that can make this machine a little bit more productive, please let me know down in the comment section. That is always appreciated. I'll make sure I link any application that I mentioned, particularly in this video that's on the Mac App Store 
in the description so you can find that. But other than that, thank you so much for watching this video. That's been what's on my MacBook Pro. Hope you enjoyed it. I look forward to seeing all of you guys in the next one. Bye. All these opportunities were just across the bridge. The world was more than twice the size and now I was a kid. Traded in the comfort zone for life, I'm on the edge. I was gaining all my dreams, holding tightly to the pledge to myself. Was quick to move, was ways deep in the sand. We were starving to beat up all the seeds that we planted. Somewhere back a couple of years in the attic, I almost just...